Hello, I'm Ian from the Shetland Library, and for today's microbit challenge, we're going to set the task of creating a virtual die, or dice, whichever you please. Which means that if we give the microbit a shake, we'll get our number between 1 to 6. As usual, we head to the bbcmicrobit.org site and to the dice microbit project. And here we are. And here we have the sum total of the code required to make our dice. Yep, it really is that simple. And once you've assembled your code from the blocks provided, you can play with the virtual microbit. And that's the beauty of the BBC website, is that you don't even have to have bought a microbit or to have borrowed a microbit from the library. So if we're all out, which I would hope we wouldn't be, all is not lost. The, the microbit here responds in exactly the same way to the code that you've assembled as a real microbit would. So in this case, we give it a virtual shake and it gives me a four. Then we go to the real microbit, which is attached via USB cable and has the code flashed to it by downloading to it. It recognises movement in exactly the same way as your smartphone does via an accelerometer, such as iPhone or Android would. So pick it up, give it a shake, gives me a six. Give it another shake, it gives me a two. Any random variable between one and six exactly as the coding allows. It's that simple. And now I've taken the backup battery power source, I've attached it to the micro bit, turning it into a virtual die. You can pop it in your pocket, although I put it in an anti-static bag to protect it. Remember to switch off the batteries to preserve life and carry it around with you. To the shake, there's your number. It's a very brief project, but it's only one of any number that's available on the BBC Microbit website, and I'm going to be trying out a lot of them over the next few days. So please join me again next time. I'm Ian from the Shetland Library saying thank you so much for your time. Bye bye.